really make of this endorsement of the Afeni Ferry? I'm a chieftain of the Afeni Ferry. I am a member of the National Caucus of Afeni Ferry. And that is, of course, the highest policy body of the Afeni Ferry. And in addition to that, I'm a member of the national executive of the Afeni Ferry, and only nine of us who run the Afeni Ferry as an organization. And uh, make no mistake, Afeni Ferry is a social political organization that has, over the time, 71 years, uh, given birth to the Action Group, the UPN, the AD. So we are very comfortable with our position, which has come out of a whole lot of experience in Nigerian political matters, which has come from a deep interrogation of the present political situation, and which has come from our appreciant knowledge that has always made us to stand on a high moral ground. And anywhere we stand is where the Yoruba, nay, the whole of Nigeria, has always or have always come to meet us. When we said that the Babangida transition was going nowhere, in 1986, it was exactly so. In fact, let me even take it back to when General Gowon uh, tried to do the non-party election, and Papa Olawa said it's going nowhere. And we all know what happened to that exercise. We know what happened to Babangida's June 12. And again, when we said that Buhari was not going to give us anything good because he had nothing to offer. We said exactly everything that was going to happen in Buhari's rule, and it has come to pass. So Afeni Ferry is not an amorphous group of all comers. It's a group tailored after the sage and the scribe Papa Awolowo. In his wisdom, and his books that he has written, and in his methods that he has given to us, we have looked at the political situation and rejected the 1999 constitution. And we said again that there should be no election until this structure is changed. We were at the forefront of restructuring right from 1953. We achieved it with the Littleton Constitution of 1954. And we have carried on. We were the one that made the 2014 confab happen. And that was why we supported President Jonathan. And look at what has happened today to those who supported Buhari. Now it is happening again. And people are dressed in, in obscene gaps. Those who brought Nigeria to his knees, those who have divided us, those who have made Nigeria ungovernable through Boko Haram and terror, and those are the people that are parading themselves as the candidates for the 2023 election. So Afeni Ferry says there should be no election. That's our stand. But again, if you are even going to say there must be election, then there must be equity. There must be the high moral ground. There must be justice. We have had eight years of Obasanjo in Yoruba, man. We have had 11 years of the, of the North, three years of Yoradua and eight years of Buari. And we have had five years of the South-South. And if it is coming to the South, the only region or the only zone in the South that has not had it is the Southeast. Based on equity, on justice, on fairness, it should go to the Southeast, if at all there should be an election. And that is our stand. But again, in examining Peter Obi and in interrogating Peter Obi and having to have had the opportunity to deeply anticipate 
and bring to the fore the issues that confront this country, namely the structure, and knowing fully well that we cannot continue this way, namely the wastage in, in government and, and, and the bad governance, we believe that if at all there should be an election, the only person that is capable of putting this country right back on track is Peter Obi, and we stand by that assertion.